Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new features and changes that Microsoft is making available on Windows 11 build 26040 in the Canary channel through the Windows Insider program. Ok, let's just dive right into the changes. One of the first changes that you're going to notice on Windows 11 build 26040 is that Copilot is no longer between the icons in the taskbar, instead it is now located on the bottom right corner and when hovering over the time and clock you're going to notice that the tooltip will now show the clock regardless of how many clocks you have configured on your computer. Microsoft is also updating the icon for task manager. I don't know if you can actually notice but this is the new icon. Let me see if I can open the start menu and just look for task manager so you can have a very view of the new icon and nothing else is new with this particular application. Now let's open the settings app and let's open the mobile devices page. And this setting is not particularly new to this preview build, but now this feature is working. So when you turn on this feature and click the manage devices button, this will actually open a new app called manage mobile devices. And it allows you to connect your Android phone to your computer and and then you can receive notifications when new photos and screenshots are available from your phone and then you can edit them using the snipping tool app. As part of this preview build, File Explorer is getting an update with a new compression wizard and you can open that option by right clicking an item, selecting Compress to, and then you're going to see this new additional options item. When you select that, it will open the new wizard that allows you to choose the different archival formats available on Windows 11. And you can also choose the compression levels as well. And once you're ready with the settings, just click the create button. Now on the Windows share feature, Windows 11 build 26,040 updates the share interface for web browsers that support this feature. And when you want to share a link, you can now share directly to X, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, Gmail, Facebook, and Skype. Also nearby share transfer speed had significantly improved allowing sharing on the same network using the public and private profiles, making it easier to share files through the quick settings and the share option in File Explorer. On Windows 11 build 26040, Microsoft is also updating the Windows setup interface. And this is how the design has looked for many years and now let's look at the new design. So this is a new design experience that Microsoft is choosing for the Windows setup which is similar to the media creation tool. Microsoft is saying that all the features are still supported on the new design. So on the first page we can select the language and the time and currency. Once you select those we can click next and now we have a new page to select the keyboard and input method. In this case I'm just going to choose the US option and then I'm going to click next. Now on this page we can now choose what we want to do on the computer. In this case we're going to select install Windows 11 and we need to check this option in order to continue. Here you can enter your product key like before. If you're doing a clean installation or upgrade or you're installing the operating system you can always click the I don't have a product key and you can supply that later if you had Windows installed before the computer will reactivate automatically. Now here we have the option to select the operating system. We need to accept the license terms. So here that's where we're going to select the drive to install Windows 11. As you can see all the options that we had before are still available on this new interface but instead of in the bottom they are now located at the top you can create a partition and you can delete partitions you have the refresh option load drivers and one for extend partition now to continue with installation we we'll just need to click the next button 
And on this page, we get a recap of what's going to happen, including installing Windows 11 Pro and keep it nothing. That means that it's going to proceed with a clean installation of the operating system. So to continue with installation, just click the install button. And after the installation, the Windows setup will present the out of box experience, which is the same that the one you already know. Now I reset the computer so we can see the next available option. And that is the one to repair my PC, which opens the Windows Recover environment where you can access the different features to reset your computer, change settings, uninstall updates, and open command prompt to perform different actions to fix your computer. And as you can see, this environment now includes new icons. And now let's look at the last option, which is switching to the legacy experience. So if you want to use the legacy option, I guess that is also an option. And that's it. Those were pretty much the most significant improvements and changes that were seen on Windows 11 build 26040. There are a bunch of other improvements and I will be leaving a link in the video description so you can check them out. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.